Hey y'all, this is Olive Destiny, and in this video, I'll be sharing with you all two different methods for removing your acrylic nails. So, stop biting them off, stop forcing them off, stop prying them off, stop damaging your natural nails, okay? So, yeah, most importantly, what you want to have is acetone for both of these methods because you cannot soak off your acrylic nails with nail polish remover. It just won't work. It's just for nail polish, not acrylic nails. So, step one, you want to just trim down your acrylic nails as best as you can. Be mindful if you have longer natural nails underneath your fake nail because you may not want to really trim away at that you know after you soak off your nails some people like to keep the length of their natural nails so you just want to trim away at that extra length and if you don't have that type of nail cutter you can also use a toenail clipper i like to use a toenail clipper over a fingernail clipper just because it's wider and i can get it underneath that acrylic nail and i'm just going to trim down any of the excess length which will help kind of speed up the soaking time Speaking of soaking, on to method number one. What you're gonna need is some acetone and a bag. Oh! I just broke my nail trying to open it. Well, that helps a little. Now we're a step closer. <laughs> Take the acetone and you're gonna pour that into the bag or a bowl, depending on which thing you want to use. Use a smaller size sandwich bag if you have one. I didn't, so I'm using this larger one, but I'm going to roll it down to resemble a smaller bag. And then, you're just gonna soak your hands for about 10 to 15 minutes. To improvise a step further, I'm just going to wrap this large bag and twist it around, and then I'm just going to wrap that around my thumb to secure it into place. And now my right hand is free while my left hand is soaking. But if you use the small sandwich bag, then there won't be any need for this step. But I'm just showing you how to improvise and make it work, okay? You can also go a step further to kind of speed up this process by placing your hand into a warm manicure bowl full of water. Or if you don't have a manicure bowl, you can also just use some warm water in a bowl from your kitchen sink. After about 10 to 15 minutes, foul away at any of the softened acrylic and then just place your hands back into either that plastic bag or the bowl. As you're fouling get your nails, definitely be gentle with this. Try not to really force the acrylic off because you don't want to damage your natural nail. And if you're ever in a predicament where you only have a small amount of acetone, you can take a really small jar and just pour it into there and you can soak a finger one at a time. And then you can also cover that with some sort of towel to really speed up the soaking process. Now we're on to method number two, which is wrapping your nails. This is one of my favorite techniques. You're going to take some aluminum foil. It doesn't have to be the most expensive one on the shelf because we're just gonna soak our nails and trash it later. You want to rip the aluminum foil into little strips, long ways that you'll be able to wrap your nails in. After that, you want to really soak the cotton ball and the acetone. Don't be stingy with this part because you really want to have enough acetone within the cotton ball to really soak off that nail. Then you want to place the cotton ball on top of your nail and you're going to wrap that in the aluminum foil and just kind of press down just a little bit, not too much to where you squeeze the acetone out, but just enough to hold the foil in place on top of the nail. And then you're gonna let this soak for 10 to 15 minutes again. After that, you can go ahead and remove the foil and just kind of like foul away at any of that softened acrylic. And you just reapply the foil after that and just let it soak some more, foul some more. And I pretty much like to uh, slap my uh, little foil wraps right off versus unwrapping them because I can just easily apply that again versus trying to wrap it all the way over my nail. I ended up with a little hangnail, so I'm just going to go ahead and gently peel that off. This is what my nails look like after either method one or method two. Now I'm going to trim away any of my nails that may kind of be longer than the other ones, just because I don't want one nail to be extremely longer than the other nails. Now I'm going to take this little DIY sugar scrub, which consists of brown and white sugar and olive oil, and I'm just gonna pretty much massage at my hands and get off that excess um, acrylic as well as the acetone. And this also helps to nourish the natural nails from soaking them in that acetone for that good amount of time that we had to use to remove the nails. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that dry. The olive oil leaves my hands nice and nourished and moisturized, and this is what my natural nails look like. So yeah, let me know if you all like method one or method two, which one you'll be trying below. Hope this video helps you all <laughs> from biting your nails and prying off your acrylics and damaging your natural nails. Questions or comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. Check out some more nail tutorials here on the screen. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching.